Good afternoon, everyone. One of our present here, respected faculty members, panel members, and all the student managers. I, Mahesh Vankade. And I, Pankaj More. And we are from the river Zhelam. <laughs> so before uh, going to start our topic, we want you to go through the small video that will give you the hint of our topic. System, please. जाने कैसे दिया? चल दिखाते हैं इनको। हमारी गाड़ी ज़्यादा पावरफुल और बड़ी है। कबूतर, हम बड़े। वही तो, हम बड़े हैं। बात सिर्फ बड़ी गाड़ी चलाने की नहीं है, बड़पन दिखाने की है। Ford कुछ अलग सी फैमिली वाली फीलिंग। So guys, have you guys our topic name? What is it? Only one person. Exactly right. So topic is analytics at Ford Motors Company. So we are going to cover the, the contents like objective, Ford Motors, what is analytics, challenges faced by the company, introduction and solution, impact and finally we will conclude the conclusion. So the objective of our presentation is to show how an established company like Ford Motors an established company like Ford Motors centralized a unit to collect all the data uh, all over the companies, to collect all the data, use it for uh, creating uh, great business insights and improve their decisions. <coughs> so introduction to Ford Motor. What is Ford Motor? Ford Motor is an American multinational automaker which is formed by the Mr. Henry Ford and it is incorporated on June 16, 1903 and its headquarters are at Denbon, Michigan and it came to India market in 1995 as a Mahindra Ford India Limited, a 50-50 joint venture with a Mahindra Mahindra Limited. But after some time, the company increases its uh, interest to 72 percent that results its uh, it results into the name of uh, the change of name, uh, the change in the name that is Ford India Private Limited. And our tagline is Go Further. And for the tagline for the India is a uh, si family wali feeling. So before going into the topic, let's understand what is analytics and how it helps in business. <laughs> So what earlier used to happen is, uh, in, every, uh, in an organization, every department used to have its own data and these data uh, were not shared among different departments. So uh, in analytics, what the organization does is, it removes all these silos, it makes a centralized unit in which all the data is collected and then analyzed to create, uh, to improve their decisions for taking in, in their businesses. These are the different tools. <clears throat> so the challenges faced by the company. So every organization faces the some challenges in the starting startup. So the emerging trends such as uh, autonomous vehicles, uh, ride sharing and new propulsion system and continuously connected sensor make the current uh, system of the manufacturing, uh, <coughs> manufacturing companies to a bad impact. So we will now see the challenges faced by the different or uh, different departments of the organization. That is, first is logistic and purchasing, second is manufacturing, and third one is the supply chain management. So, what's come in mind when it, when it comes about the logistics? Anybody? About logistics? Exactly. Transportation of the raw materials, finished products, like that. So, the at the earlier stage, the system were made manually. So whatever the entries were made, the, they were made through the manual system. So that it makes the system inconsistent. And uh, whenever there is a change in the fuel price, duty, custom duty, excise duty, so, 
that that time it was it becomes difficult for the system managers to make it <coughs> yeah, uh, uh, consistently so thus the port was not proactive about renegotiating shipping contracts and it was potentially overpaying for the services after that manufacturing what means manufacturing manufacturing means the conversion of raw materials into finished products so the problem the challenge faced uh, faced by the port motor at the manufacturing uh, center was there were the manufacturers of small vehicles as well as the heavy vehicles uh, heavy vehicles so whenever they will deliver two vehicles uh, two large vehicles we were producing on the assembly line they required uh, they were required a uh, large space and that uh, that results into the low production uh, low production per hour and it directly impacts on the uh, overall overall production of the company and about the supply chain management supply chain management the severe weather conditions make the material of the company causing parts shortage that can cream on the manufacturing so the with the help of gdpi they ask the supply chain management to identify the risks and develop contingency plans in the anticipation of the <coughs> hurricanes and other storms so introduction of the gdi what is mean by gdi gdi is a global data and global data insight and analytics <coughs> so the by the 2014 all the analytical data tools methods were in the wide use of throughout the company uh, but uh, due to the current uh, situation the digital transformation and including mobility continuous continu connectivity and autonomous vehicle emerging so uh, the company made a strategy to form a new solution for overcoming the this problem so they made the gdi that is global data insight and analytics the, what is gdi gdi is a central centralized data scientist analytics uh, which organized to share analytical based practices and more spread optimize data driven decision making across the organization and it consists of the expert data veterans within the departments or without the departments and all the uh, new more <coughs> or new hirings and more uh, currently there are more than 800 professionals are there in the gdi at ford motors okay so we have seen the problems that the, that ford motors was facing provided these are not the only problems these are part of problems okay we have uh, selected departments in which these problems uh, we have selected this to show the example so let's see the solution what gdi came up to next in logistic and purchases so what used to happen is earlier uh, all the data for raw materials for uh, taking this all used to happen manually and every every year this needs to be checked so what uh, happens uh, gdi what gdi did is they collected all the data which was manual analyzed it they uh, they kept getting data from uh, other buyers and then this data was used to uh, was used to make a quick link dashboard which was shared uh, which was updated uh, which was linked to a shared point where buyers could update uh, buyer could update on this share point okay so they were continuously getting uh, data structured unstructured it didn't matter because data in data science uh, all the data is captured and then it is analyzed to take the decisions so earlier it used to take uh, every year the data used to uh, get analyzed but using gdi it you it it started getting analyzed and the decision started uh, taking place every week so they were they were uh, the cost that they were they used to pay uh, sometimes they used to pay more sometimes less it was because of uh, changing every year next manufacturing uh, the problem that uh, i will discuss manufacturing and supply chain in one point so the same same situation they used to collect data this data they used to analyze it all the data uh, so they could share these data in manufacturing like it is shown uh, there's a E uh, pro, uh, equipment called spacer which is used for uh, which is used for uh, different e uh, making different automobiles so this spacer uh, due to this production capacity was decreased but what happened is they uh, with gdi they used to schedule these programs so proper uh, sorry so proper scheduling could be done done using gdi next next Uh, the impact of gdi was the revenue in 
14 was this as well. Thank you.